I've received messages from a lot of media personnel from different churches and ministries asking me to do a video teaching them how to do their professional audio recording for their services and that is why I'm bringing this video to you right now. I'm going to show you two of the best audio recording softwares that we use and you can also do the same. One of them is free but the other one is paid for. I'm going to be installing the free one. I'm going to be navigating the dashboard to show you how you can use it and start your audio recording. You can also use it to edit your audios when it's being recorded recorded. The first software I'm going to recommend for you is Audacity. All you need to do is to go to Google and search for Audacity. Okay, and I'm going to click on download. So um, download if you are using Windows, Mac or Linux. So I'm using Windows 64 bit. Um, just choose the one you want to download. I'm going to download the um, 64 bit installer, the most recent version. Start download. And it's done. I'm going to open the folder and install it. Follow me closely. Double click it to install. Click on yes. Okay, next, next, yes, 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 install, yes, and finish. So we are going to launch, just make sure you select this to launch Audacity, and it's going to launch right now. So I have a microphone, as you can see, um, we're going to record something right now with this this is the dashboard this is exactly how it looks you can see the buttons pause the major buttons here pause record you know and stuff you just basically if you're a starter you don't need you don't need many of these buttons all you need is just to record to pause to continue recording stop your recording and save it yeah we're going to do that right now if you want to record come on this button this red button and click this record so you click it and it starts recording you can see so what is recording right now is my voice as i'm speaking is being recorded because there's a mic connected to it so assuming that you're in a church service your setup will be to connect your card reader which is either a Beringa or a Focusrite um, sound card uh, yeah not card reader sorry a Behringer or Focusrite sound card connected to your audio mixer and then connect your, your sound card to your PC so the laptop you're going to be using to record also um, if you are streaming it you also connect it to the laptop you use to stream you know in your video and in your audio streaming so um, it's, basic, it's basically an easy setup we'll do a practical video where we are showing you the devices and how to connect it but this is just assuming you already have those things in place and you're looking for a software audacity is very good if you click on this button it's going to pause continue you can see pause continue and you can just stop the recording so this is like you've stopped the recording and you can see it. when you click on this play button it's going to play what we've recorded and i'm going to try to play it out so we can hear what is recording yeah basically the recording is very crisp and clear this is perfect um, you can just download audacity I'm gonna put a link for you download audacity and start recording when you are done with the recording come to a file right you want to save the audio tape come to a file you can save project you know save your project okay can save your project as is saving it as a aup3 so this is a project not a file well if you want to save the file as an mp3 file come to export export as mp3 okay and title it whatever your program name and click on save so um, you can now put the artist name that is maybe the name of your pastor pastor so so Put the track title 
album title. Basically for album, what I put is, if it's a weekly program, I use the title of the weekly program, or if it's a special program, you can put it up. So something like this, put it here, genre, and that's pretty much it. Click on OK, it's going to export. So once it's done, you can have access to it. And let's check for it right now. Go to Document, Audacity, and you can see it. So this is the audio. What is recording right now is my voice. You can see. So it's perfect. So we've just recorded uh, something for our program. The next software I'm going to be showing you is Adobe Audition, right? This, I don't think it's free. Okay, so you can see this, this, this one is not free. This is not free, so I'll just say stick with Audacity. It does pretty much everything. It's, the editing is also perfect. So um, Audition is $22 per month, but um, okay, per year, $257 per year. So I just think you can use Audacity since it's free and open source and it does the work perfectly. But I, I have Adobe Audition and that's what I'm using right here to record so you can see it and it's also very nice. It has a, um, a beautiful interface and uh, it's, um, it looks more professional, you know, but it, it does essentially the same thing. So um, even uh, Audacity can help you with noise reduction. So if there's noise, you can reduce the noise. It has an AI tool to reduce noise. Also, Audition has it, Audacity has it, so there's nothing so different. Um, if you don't have the money to go for Audition, Audacity works perfectly fine. Okay, and uh, we've come to the end of this video. I'll ask you to just like this video, leave a comment. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section, and I'll be there to reply your questions and give you answers. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you get updated every time I come up with a new video, OE Media Personnel. Thank you for watching this video. I'll catch you soon.